Uh, here we go. Let's do this. All right. Let's get our checklist. All right. Everything is done with checklist. We, we went inside. We did the crabs. We we checked out the weather. We make sure we have uh, you know bodies good. We had enough sleep. We're not rushing, right? If we don't feel good and we're being forced to fly, we don't fly. All right. So that that's very important for um you know for 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 the whole basis of flying. Everything could be perfect, but psychologically something's bothering you, right? Your neighbor, you had a fight with your neighbor and it's just bothering you, you keep thinking about it, don't fly. Sounds good. Okay, very good. So, let's kick right. it. Pre-start checklist. Pre-flight inspection complete. Complete. Passenger briefing, we don't Ah, have what 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 consists of a passenger briefing? Briefing, um, tell me. Like yeah. letting you know they got to wear their seat belts. Yes. Just, How yeah. to use a seat belt? Good. Um, that they have to wear it on takeoff and landing. That's right. Also on taxi. On taxi mm -hmm. as well. Yep. Um, how to use? Oh, how to use the doors? How to get out? Yep. And if the doors can't open? How to open the windows? Yep. Or if the windows are all jammed shut, how do we? How do we kick out of these things? Yeah. In other words, like, okay. uh, uh, yeah. Tell oh, them that. Like... If, you know, if the doors are, if everything's like doesn't work, you can kick out okay and bust out and remember that badge compartment that we don't lock right we could get out of there for some crazy reason that's the only way out we didn't lock it right we're able to get out right okay so that's the pageant briefing and also tell them what on takeoff and landing radio silence yep right when the Just controller kind of... is talking to you radio silence right and then uh yes one thing my my dad kind of yes tells newer, to me. like newer people because mm -hmm. um, you you always go through the checklist mm -hmm. he's like it's not that I don't know this checklist this back and forth. It's that I'm human and I just don't want to accidentally skip a step. That's right. For those doofy passengers that say like, oh wait, you're a pilot. You should have all this memorized. Yeah. I yeah. asked him that when I was like, yay, hi. And he, he was like, it's not that I don't. It's that it's for everyone's safety. That I like do. that. So we check our egos. That's right. And also we have our passengers help us look for traffic, right? And we tell them that's 12 o'clock, that's three o'clock, that's nine o'clock, and that's six o'clock. And you tell them that, right? And you tell them, don't be shy. If you see we're on a collision course with something, scream it out. If you see something, say something. Say something. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And also tell them, right? Before we take off, or oh, we're in the air, if they have any kind of like problem, right? Don't be shy and say, I got a problem. We need to get down. Right? Instead of them like vomiting or whatever. And of course, tell them where the vomit bags are. Show them how to use the vomit bags. Right? And and tell them how to like, you know, use the radio and stuff like that. That's the passenger briefing, right? right. And in case of a crash, you're gonna tell them, right? That, what, what are we gonna do with the doors? Uh, have you ever come across something like that? Before we, no, not a crash landing, but we're emergency landing. It's gonna be landing. What are we gonna do with the doors? Open they're gonna them. be, yes, they're gonna be ajar. That's right. So, you know, just let them know ahead of time, right? That listen, I'm in the event of emergency landing, I'm, these doors are going to be ajar. Okay. Okay. Meaning that, no, I'm not going to be jumping out, you know, in the air. <laughs> They're just going to be ajar because when we when we uh, have a hard landing, we just want to make sure the cabin doesn't crush shut, trapping us in. Okay. So you're giving them little tidbits and warnings about you know, what, what happens. And you tell them how to, you know, adjust the air and blah, blah, blah. All right, mm -hmm. so the passenger briefing can be kind of involved, right? Okay, so let's move on. All right, seat belts, adjust and secure. Very good. Uh, brakes, test and set. Yes, so we have, right, as you know, right, we got our brakes, right? Mm -hmm. We also have our handbrake, right? We don't rely on the handbrake. Always got our feet on the brakes, right? All right. But let's say we got a, uh, gonna be uh, starting up the engine soon. Feet on the brakes, right? Upon takeoff, heels on the floor right? right that way we don't inadvertently like you know jam the brakes as we're like taxiing i mean as we're like <laughs> doing the takeoff roll right we don't want that right uh, not be good another principle never use the brakes and the gas at the same time right so you if you got to slow down pull it out all it's idle and right. slow it down and we're taxiing at a brisk walk okay so what do we got all right circuit breakers check good run your finger physically yes that yeah, is correct and also the top the top group the transponder yes. is that popped or oh yeah no that is a pull type transponder okay right and notice how this one has a little bit of plastic tie into it right mm -hmm. 
because the autopilot they've this they this um engaged it because okay. it's inoperative right okay that's why it's pulled out that way people don't like keep like pushing it in right? okay. and also a good idea is to know the position of these of all these fuses right mm -hmm. because if it's nighttime it's gonna be hard to see yeah right so you got to kind of like have an idea that where are all the fuses? Like, if you notice the top, it's avionics, mm -hmm. right? On the bottom, it's like something to do with the airplane itself, the flaps, the avionics bus, right? the, the main the systems, right? On the top, it's like the the secondary systems, like the transponder, right? Stuff like that. Good. That's good. Room. All right. Circuit breakers check. Electrical equipment. Off. Yes, everything's off. Now the beacon, like I said, we just leave that on. It's a it's a nice club procedure. Um, avionics master off. Yes, it's off. Fuel selector to both. Yeah, let's switch that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fuel shutoff valve on, full in. Yes, that's full in, yes. All right, start is required. Good, so let's get this bad boy started. All right, so mm -hmm. crack this. Okay. Uh, mixture idle cut off. Yep. Propeller area. Do I yell clear now or right before? Oh I no, start? not yet. Okay. We're just looking around, make sure there's nobody. That's all. Yep. Alt and battery master is on. Yes. Beacon on. Yep. We know. Yep. Fuel pump on. Yes. Now check this out before you go on. Right? It says if yeah. engine is warm, skip. Right, skip this step. Just, just crank it right? okay. with, with the with the uh, mixture out. Is there a certain temperature that constitutes warm? Like ah, it's, in the it's green? usually right. Uh, no, because at that time this thing's all shut down now, so you don't mm. know the temperature. But okay. it's generally like that, you know, maybe you landed already, you got something to eat, you come back, the engine's still warm, okay. you can still kick it. Okay, like okay. generally speaking, like within an hour, the engine's still gonna be warm. You give it, a, you give it a roll. Sounds good. If it doesn't work, then you start this whole procedure. Okay, so fuel right. pump on. Fuel pump on. Mm -hmm. Good. Push it forward. Aha! Ah, see that? Good. Take yeah. it out. That's it. And then turn, turn the pump off, right? right? Now the lines are full of fuel. Right. Now take the key. It's red with the teeth down. Right. Put it in. Yep. One hand on the ignition, one hand on the mixture, and both feet on the brakes. And you yell out, clear? Clear. Clear. And you crank it. Very good, thank you. Uh, you jumped the gun a little bit on it, but that's good. I mean, you know, I think you had a good feeling for it. They kicked in. You know, because what happens is it hesitates, you're gonna flood it. Okay. So anyway, no big deal. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you got you got a good instinct for it. That's good. Excellent. Excellent start. All right, so this should be at a thousand. Let's put on the headset. We got to turn on the avionics so we can listen to each other. All right. Okay, very good. Can you hear me all right? Bravo. You hear me? And he'll turn around. Three, three left. This thing here, it's zero or better, it's fine. All it's right. not discharging. Alright. Exterior lights on is required. Yes, we're gonna leave it off. Right? For All today right. it's bright, no big deal. We're gonna do the Christmas tree. There'll be four extra ones on top of the beacon oh, upon clear for takeoff. Alright. Uh, let's see. The avionics are on. Yep. No enunciators. Right. Flaps are Flaps down. up. There you go. And you look for symmetrical retraction and you yep. listen to it too right no funny sounds like creaking like you know, nothing nothing funny all right oh let's bring that back to a thousand got away from us a little bit that's okay yep so hearing is very important we got to know what a thousand sounds like so instinctively we know that whoa this engine is revving too too fast on the ground 
Well, no, on Tower Information, November 2156 Zulu. Wind is 240 at 7, visibility 10. Sky condition, few clouds, 6,500 to 5,000 scattered. Temperature 272.12. Hello, Terminator 3007, visual approach and use, landing and departing runway 24. Caution birds in the Sydney airport, all departures have closed traffic. Contact clearance 121.85, visual contact. You have this information, November. Okay, so here's the airport diagram, right? And and you're familiar with the uh, the frequencies, right? Yep. Right? So we got the ATIS, tower, ground, ground control, and clearance delivery, right? So we got information November. Okay. Well, when we call clearance, there's the five things we got to say, right? Who we're calling, who we are, where we are. We have information November, and what do we want to do? It's like the five finger special. So we're going to depart to the north. And we're gonna go to 3,000 feet, okay? And what what they're gonna call uh, tell us back on the call that we gotta read back is that generally they're gonna say upon departure by runway heading at or below 2,000. Departure frequency is 12005, and then barcode or something something something. Generally speaking starts with the four, right? And you read back those three items, departure, runway heading, at or below 2,000, departure frequency, 120.05, block code, four, blah, blah, blah. And then they're gonna say, read back correct, contact, ground for taxi. Alrighty? So, I'm gonna have you talk on the radio, okay? And remember, at every, uh, Initiation of the call, it's the full call sign, right? And after that, it's just one, two, Sierra, one, two, Sierra, one, two, Sierra. And That's it good. doesn't need to be, you know, spoken in like a complete sentence, but if you want to, you're welcome to it, right? So, but when do you practice? Uh, what are you going to say? You're going to say, Bar Island Clearance. Bar Island Clearance. That's the. That's the 5312 Sierra. Yeah. At the west at, ramp. At the west ramp. Yep. Got information. Information November. Yep. Departure to the north. Yes, at uh, 3,000. At 3,000. That's it. Now give it to me in one shot, and let me hear how it sounds. Bar Island Clearance. Bar Island Clearance, Cessna 5312 Sierra. Yep. Uh, at the west west ramp. Yep. Okay. Yep. Information November. Yeah, write it down if you need to. Yeah. And we're going to the uh, north. Departure to the north at 3,000. That's it. Yep. Good. Nice. Another principle with these buttons, right? Turning it to the right, the numbers increase. Turning it to the left, the numbers decrease. But we're not like, you know, whatever. If we just got to go to 90, it's just one click to the right, right? Okay. There we go. So that's Long Island Clearance, whenever you're ready. And I'm going to say it again. Long Island Clearance, Cessna. 5312 Sierra at the West Ramp. I got information November. I want to go to the North Practice Area. Long Island Ground Flex Jet 538 Whiskey for Shelf Air. Say again. Yeah, he just landed. Uh, Flex Jet 538 on Whiskey going to Shelf Air. Uh, Flex Jet 538 Ground Taxi to Shelf Air via Sierra. Sierra to Shelf Air Flex 538. Okay, now you can proceed. Good. Do we have to switch to uh, clearance first? Oh no, uh, oh, yes we do. <laughs> yeah, that's no, right, yeah, yeah, let's switch over here. Yep. There you go. Now that's comp number two. And we're on comp number two? Yep. Yep. Let it rip. Long Island Clearance, Cessna 5312 Sierra, with information November at the West Lab, looking at parts of the north at 3000. Yes, sir, good. Good job. And there's usually a two. Roger, one, two, three, on the flight, four, five, one, eight, means I get five, two, five, two, four, five, 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 one, two, zero, zero, five, clock, four, two, zero, six. Flight, we're, we're heading at uh, 2,000, squat, four, two, zero, six. One, two, Sierra. Uh, and clearance at one, two, zero, zero, five. Departure, yep. Yep. One, two, three, back, right, go to ground, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. This guy, this guy was like horrible. Okay, he just. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but, but you got the idea what he said, you know? 
Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so do we have the altimeter set in? 3007. Oh, yeah. Oh. Is it? Yeah, see, each tick, right, represents 0.02. Okay, right? so, so you uh, should be... Yeah, right in between. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, something like that, right? Our fuel elevation is 99 feet, so that's good. Yeah. It's within 75 feet. Okay, and this, let's adjust that to the level. Yep. Ooh. Okay, our, so you our level for my yeah. eyesight. Yeah, yeah, okay. oh yeah, for my, that's all you. That, that orange got to be right on the bar. That's all. Right. Yep. Good, that's zero. And this one, let's adjust this too. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, you got to push in? Okay. Yeah, push in and turn. Down a clockwise, right? So that's also uh, some, an instrument that makes sense, right? If you go left, it goes left. Yep. Okay. Oh, keep going. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, just just a slightly more. Yeah, we want to get perfection on something like this. Oh, this one's a little... Yeah, oh, it goes yeah, like opposite, that. Yeah. kind of. Oh, no, it doesn't go opposite. East is east. Okay. It's east on okay. the left, yeah, east on the yeah. left. It's the same thing. Okay, for, that's zero, yeah, okay. for mine it was like just a little bit. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Now, right. the winds are coming from... 240. 240. Right? So this is the, the, it's a heading book, right? It's just like something that's useful. Okay, so we can take this and just put it like that. The wind's coming from this way, right? Okay. So you know you got the plane, right? You secured your pen. Right? Now you're going to be doing hopefully 99% of the things today. Okay? Right. And hopefully maybe, you know, maybe help you with the landing today. We'll, we'll see how you go, okay? All right. I want you to be doing most of the flying. Sounds good. Okay. Now you secure your stuff. Um, yeah, we'll clip it on. Okay. Clip it on, yeah. Don't let things fly around. There you go. Okay, so remember, one hand here, the other hand here, right? Okay. Just give it enough juice, and let's taxi left. Looking around, turn your head, nobody. Just give it a little juice. And take out the juice and go left. Yeah. If you need to, jam on that brake a little bit to the left and give it a little bit more juice to get it out. Anytime the airplane's on a turn, it will slow down on the okay. taxi. So you just gotta give it enough juice. Oh, yep, keep your hand. And just juice it to the left, that's it. As we're coming up here, you can see the tower, right? And we're gonna stop the airplane. Yeah, it's good. Take out the juice and stop the airplane. Good job. Can now, I just, yeah, can I adjust my seat real quick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I'm like <laughs> not getting any power out like, of my legs. Oh crap! Yeah, someone's coming out. Let's uh, make a quick tight, tight turn to the left right. so he can come in. Yeah. And we're kind of tight. Okay, yeah, just give it a shout. Yep. We're on the, uh, you know what, I'll call. <laughs> All right, yeah. Yeah, Long Tower, Cessna 53120, west side, taxi active. 53120, Sierra, stand by. Okay. Yeah, because that guy, you know, trying to... 279, exit left turn at the end there at the Bravo. Taxi via Bravo, hold short, runway 24. 92 Hotel Fox, short, runway 24, you close touch and go, make right traffic. Thank you, Sewell South Fox Trap. Cessna 5312 Sierra, runway 24 intersection at 15 right. Taxi via Whiskey, right turn onto runway 15 right, hold short runway 24. Okay, left turn on Whiskey, right on 15 right, and then we'll give way to the taxi, uh, Cessna taxi. 12 Sierra. Okay, let's go out, and let's just stay to the right side so this person can come, come in. You can see the windsock over there also. 
Right. And you can see another windsock over there. Right. So we're heading in a general direction. Nose wheel is straight. Brakes are on. And everything is, uh, everything is like copacetic. All right. Two hotel All right, right. Roger. Yes, parking free. That's that, yep. But we, we are not going to, you know, rely on that. We're going to use our feet. Yep. Okay. Parking brake. Okay. That's it? Or yeah, but, you know, yeah, just leave it off because okay. it's notoriously, like, unreliable. You know, just, uh, okay. we'll just use our brakes, yeah. All right. Seat backs for upright. Good. Seat, seat belts are good. One, two, seven, All right. Box, uh, seat seat belts check left. secure. Yep. Cabin Getting doors closed and latched. Close. Flight controls. Free, correct. Go ahead, check the elevator and jiggle the rotor. All right, and it's all going the right direction. Good, okay. All right. Autopilot, that's not. Yep, it's off, it's an operative. Flight instruments, check. All right, let's send another double check. check. Yep. And set. Yep, good. Uh, fuel quantity. On fuel. Left and right check. Good. I like how you're pointing to it. Very good. Uh, mixture rich. Yep. Throttle 1800 RPM. That's it. 1800, yep. And give me exactly 1800. Nice. Excellent. Alright, magnetos. Now go to the left first. Okay. Good. Watch for a drop. About a hundred. Yep. And then two clicks to the left. Oh, I did the left one first. You meant the right one. Oh, no, I, I meant the left one first. Okay. That's correct. You did fine. Yep. Okay. Now two clicks to the left. Point, point. Yep. And then two clicks back. Right? Good. So we did not see more than 150 RPM drop and no more than 50 differential between the two. That's good. Vacuum gauge. Vacuum gauge. Green. 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 Yep. Uh, engine gauges, green, temperature green. green. Oh, green. temperature's coming up, nice. Okay. Which one's the engine gauge? Oh, these are the temperature and the pressure. Oh, okay, yep. okay, yeah. Uh, ammeter, I oh, just put yes. off the, uh, back, watch for a drop. Good, nice, put it back on. Alright. Enunciators, not shown. Yep. Throttled. Check oil. Ah, the, the engine's still running, right? Alright. Good. And now we're back to thousand. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. Good. Uh, friction lock. Yep. Just check it. Yep. On the takeoff, the hand stays on the throttle just to make sure that it's full okay. forward. It doesn't vibrate back. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. The emergency procedures, right? That's it. We leave it at that point. Why right? we reviewed it and just run through it. Okay. On the takeoff roll. Engine failure on takeoff, throttle idle, brake supply, flaps retract, uh, mixture idle cutoff, yep. magnetos off, alt and battery masters off. That's right, good. And 500 feet above down. the ground, what are you going to do? Uh, board down. Oh, no, no, oh, no. no. Oh, you oh, that's for something else. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, airspeed for 65. Okay, 65. 65, yep. Make sure idle cutoff. Yep. Uh, fuel shut off, off pull. Yep. Uh, magnetos off. Yep. Flaps as required. As required. Yep. All battery master switches off. Yep. Cabin door unlatched. That's right. Now this is what we were talking about before the okay. full ABCs. Uh, okay. so this is when we have enough time and all that stuff, you know. Okay. So it's it's like 500 feet way above the ground. Okay. So what are we gonna do? Airspeed. Uh, airspeed. Uh. 65? Yes, go with 65. Exactly, yes. Fuel shut off, on, and make sure it's in. Fuel selector, both. Make sure it's up both. Fuel pump, on. Mixture, uh, full rich. Yep. Uh, the right, propeller is min windowing, so the magnetos to both. Crank, 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 it's dead. Okay. Propeller is stopped, magnetos to start. Yep. Advance throttle slowly until engine starts. Yep. If unable to restart, go to emergency Emergency line. Line check, yes. That's the full shebang, right? Seat, seat belts, and you can just call it out, you know, right? Make sure it flaps up and blah, blah, blah. Make sure it's like blah, blah, blah. And it shuts off everything, right? All right. Now, once again, we're on a roll. We're on a takeoff. The engine goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you going to do instinctively? Fuel pump. That's right. Where is it? Close your eyes and point it to me. The left most. That's the correct one. Very good. So we leave it 
Leave it like this? Out like that, yes. But we're not fumbling with the leader? Leave it out like that. Remove right. it for remove the emergency procedures. Today's just gonna be a normal takeoff. And what you're gonna do, right? There's gonna be a full few call outs, right? You're gonna say Airspeed is alive. The engine instruments, they're in the green. Center line. No one knows the other lights. Right? All right. I'm gonna call them out. You're gonna hear me say that, right? Once we're clear for takeoff, full Christmas tree. All right. Anytime we touch one of these, we're gonna see if the others are correct. All right. On the takeoff, this goes full forward. This goes all the way full forward. This is up. That's up. Okay. All if right. you can steer, steer. I'll help you with the steering a little bit, right? Okay. And this is how it's gonna be, right? As we after we pass 65 or so, it's gonna be the takeoff speed. You're gonna bring that. Yoke back a little bit. And you see the horizon line? Four inches above the dash. You gotta bring that dash and bring raise it. it up. All right. Yes, sir. Helicopter 347, The tower's gonna tell you, contact departure. All right. Gonna reach down there, and you're gonna say, contact departure. Boom. This one's gonna go to active. Or you're gonna go to uh, COM 1. Yeah, so let's go to COM 1 right now. Because that's the frequency. Okay. And you're gonna notice like, Whoa, it's the same, it's the same lady speaking on the same way, because she's working both frequencies, right? And she's going to tell you after she tells you, uh, contact departure, you're going to say contact departure. And whatever altitude we're leaving, after we talk to them, you're going to say, that's the 5312 series with you, leaving 800. All right. Okay? All right. So do your best. That's all. All right. I'm going to tell you what to say. And you just repeat what I tell you. Okay. Sounds good. Nothing here is going to be, I'm, I'm not, you're not going to be relying on memory for anything throughout these phases of flight. If we forget something, I'm going to tell you, make sure that throttle is forward. I'm going to say, make sure you got that, make sure you're stepping on the ball. Okay. Right. Are you ready, Andrew? Yep. Okay. I know you, I know you've taken off before. I know you have. Okay. In whatever capacity in the past, whatever. Okay. So right. this time, let's do this, okay? Now, right. once once they say clear for takeoff, we're gonna close the window. All right, All right. let's roll. Ballon Tower, Cessna 5312 Sierra, ready for takeoff, runway 24, intersection. Excellent. Uh, uh, Cessna 5312 Sierra, 1230 Alpha, runway 24, intersection, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 12 Sierra. Clear for takeoff, 12 Sierra. Medivac 347, my turn, remain north of runway 24 at all times. Skyhawk, come to the departing now. And we have traffic on the go, they will maintain a visual, keep it north of 24 at all times. Southern Mike Tango. I like that. Southern Mike Tango, what size is the sequence of active? Southern 156 Sierra Echo. Uh, good, got to use as much uh, runway as possible. Whiskey, nice. Right turn, one one left whiskey, left, right, one right. Turn. Good. And then boom. Oh, goes boom. this way, yes. Alright, line it up with the runway. Medivac 347, Mike Tango. Left All left yours, left Andrew, left okay? Alright. All right. Give it juice. Full juice. Oh, yeah, that engine sounds good. Yes, Heels sir. on the floor. Yep, heels on the floor. Airspeed air is alive. alive. Engines. Green. Anuncia lights. Off. Not then. Yes. And then? Better line. Let's look. And yes, sir. Here we go. There you go. Who's flying? You are. Okay. And a right rudder. That's right. Now, reach down to the trim, right? If you feel you're pulling too much, roll the wheel back. If you feel you're pushing too much, roll the wheel forward to maintain that sight picture. Yep, and a little bit of right rudder. Yep. Now, hold that yoke steady. Do not react to every lump and bump. Uh, Just hold it steady. Just like that. Yeah, that's it. Right? And don't fly with the trim. Okay. Need a push? Next thing she's going to tell you, the frequency change approved, and you're going to change it. Good. Oh, hand on the throttle. Yep. That's it. Hold it like this. That's it. Good, good, good. Yeah, you go. Finger like that, and just hold it. Like this. Yes, sir. Good job, brother. And eventually she's gonna tell us any moment now. So 
Okay, so we're going up to 3,000. Go ahead north. And here's what we're going to do. Anytime I said, right, uh, give me like a, a heading to fly, right? You're going to like, if I say fly north, you're going to look at that for a split second. And then look outside. Then point out a geographical point. Like, you notice that little bit of inlet, and then fly towards it. And right. never stare at the inside. Sounds good. Keep your attention 95% outside the window. And only at the most 5% on the inside. We got our collision scope, right? We'll just take a look-see. No, that's a six-mile range. Oh, check this out. There's a something. 600. Yeah, above us, coming to us, right? Okay. So I'm going to have you go right. So give me a right turn. Pick up the right wing. Oh, oh yeah, pick up the right wing. Just take a look. Okay, and then roll right. And use that rudder. That's right. Make that turn pretty, right? Don't stare at the inside. If you gotta look inside, split second. Look out, right? Just like that. Look out, like that. See how my hands are? Like, then look out. What heading would you like? Oh, just give me an uh, easterly direction. If you can follow the shoreline. Right? Now you notice we lost altitude, right? Yep. Yeah, let's bring that nose up a bit. Get back on altitude. All right. Okay, you can see this guy behind us. He's 700 feet above us, right? Yeah. Okay, just keep an eye on him. Yep. All right. So, here's what we're gonna do with this airplane, just to, just to, for you to understand the aerodynamics of everything, right? Right. When we when we, we talked about, you know, why why is it right that the elevator is the control service that makes the airplane turn, right? Let's see what happens when you just turn the aileron. Now, go to the left and watch how the nose stays forward, right? See how it stays forward? Uh-huh. And then it turns. And then it starts. Good. Five now, echo, let's fly straight. Approach, one, two, five, and we'll just turn this guy down. Now go to the right and watch the same thing happens. It banks, right? It stays straight. And now it turns, right? Now let's roll back forward. Now, incorporating the rudder and the aileron, let's give yourself a nice pretty turn where everything happens simultaneously, but you got to apply back pressure. A little bit. Right? Now it looks pretty. That's the objective of the turn, right? And let's turn to the right. Right? And then kick that uh, kick that rudder in. Kick that rudder in. Yeah, that's it. Right? And you're gonna pull back on that over. Let's get back on uh, get back on the altitude. Yeah. Right, basic principles, right? So we never just want to move each control surface independently unless it's that's what we want right so that's how the turns operate now try just rocking it back and forth right and also be aware of our nose attitude why we keep losing altitude right it's because because we lose some left as we start making yes and also that sometimes the the nose is pitched down a little bit there you go now, if you need to blow your nose or anything, I've got tissues, okay, so. <laughs> I, I had, like, just a tickle in the throat. Gotcha, gotcha. If you want to cough it out, cough it out, all right? You've got to be comfortable. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Very good. All right, so you got to feel for that. Those are kind of like the basics, right? If we want to climb, right, it's, it's like the takeoff. If we want to descend, we take out the power in this sense, okay? That, then we're going to be doing that throughout the time, so it's not like, you know, there's, there's no more like getting bogged down in like those those little things. It's just all that stuff is just going to come come to you naturally. All right. So, we did our clearing turns, so to speak. We cleared the area, right? We got this airplane behind us. Let's check again. The bump is at 600 feet. All right? So we're going to start getting into the slow flight, flying a easterly direction. Okay? So what you can do is you can take the heading bug and put it on east. 
Ask us frequency is 12597. All right. Now, we're going to have you do a 180 degree turn. To the left, to the left. Okay, okay we're going to go right. Go to the right, yeah. <laughs> okay, no, but just go to the left, yeah. Okay, I, I, yeah, I was just uh, kidding. All right, all so right. let's, uh, yeah, pick up your left wing. Aha, uh -huh. there you go. Good, and just roll. Remember the rudder, right? Remember the yeah. rudder, yep. Roll that rudder. Ah, see? now the nose drops, right? Oop, raise that it. nose up. Yeah, raise that nose up. Otherwise, it's going to be a, a sicking. There you go. Nice. Very nice. That's it. Yep, and don't stare. Uh huh. Remember, from my advantage, right, I can see your eyeball, like, looking down for, like, more than a second, right? Glance down, look up. Glance down, look up. And look around you. That's it. Alright, we still got that guy. 600 feet above us. Coming. I see him. Over us. You see him? Yeah, he's uh, he's coming over our wing. Oh, your eyes are good. You, you did spot him, right? Okay, yep. very good. Alright. So. Yep. Oh, now it's a nose pitch down attitude. So bring that nose up. Take yep. the way on me there. That's it. Yep, yep. There you go. Good, good. Now we really, really, really clear the area. Nicely. Now you see the Northport stacks? Yep. We're going to be doing our slow flight, right, towards the Northport stacks, right? Alright. Alright, so, the day of the examination, the guy tells you, hey, listen, uh, uh, Andrew, give me a slow flight, right? So, you had the, you had the proper altitude, right. and you did your clearing turns, right? Uh -huh. Alright. So, here we go. Let's bring that power down to 1,500. And that number is going to stay with Traffic. you. Traffic, 12 o'clock, low, 2 miles, level. Uh, I don't yeah, that's odd, yeah. Okay. Yeah, anyway. Supposedly 500 feet under us. Oh, I see him, the helicopter. Okay, uh, I see. He's like over the land right now? Uh, he's like over to the left a little bit. He's below us. Uh, I see him, I see him. Yep, okay, good. All right, good. Uh, Give me 1500 on the RPM. Yeah, he's passing us. But as it slows down, right, the engine, the, uh, the whole airplane wants to drop, right? So we got to raise the nose a bit, right? Right, as we raise the nose, don't stare at the inside, don't stare at the inside, yep. Get that setting, look outside. Right, that's it, right? You're holding the back pressure, right? Five up range, give me one potato. Good. Heading, altitude stabilized. Good. Give me two potato. Heading, altitude stabilized, right? Flying towards the north port stacks. Don't stare inside. Give it the third potato. Back pressure. Right? There you go. Now, approaching the target airspeed. Right? Okay, give it power. All the way forward. Ah, you heard that? Yeah. That's it. Yep. Give it enough power until the, until the plane stops descending. There you go. And you got to give it a right rudder. Right? Can you see the north port stacks? Or the general idea? Yep. But also use the clouds as a reference, right? And also the shorelines to make sure that you're flying in that general direction. And try to maintain, yeah, give me like no uh, no greater than 55, okay? Yeah, so keep it at that. So try to keep this at 50. There you go. Good, nice. Good job. Oh, I'm sorry, and a uh, full, full mixture. There you go. Yes, one thing I screw up on, I should have told you to make sure the mixture was rich when we go into it. Alright? Remember, anytime we look at one thing, we gotta look at the other things too. Alright. Good. Now notice you're coming up back to the target altitude of 3000, which is good. When you get back up there, I could pull the power a little bit. Yes. Pitch for airspeed. Power for altitude. Power for altitude, yes. Yes. About that, if you need to go in it, are you going to be like north or south of uh, north of uh, Northport stacks? If you're familiar. Yeah, I'm familiar. Uh, I'll probably run right on top of the stacks. Uh, the weather is low for the Connecticut coastline. Yep. Now raise the nose a little bit. Before I make my right turn. Get back to so 50 knots. Uh, I'm sure uh, weather north of Northport stacks at 10 miles. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Let's do 50 like because I think it's eastbound. The whole objective, right, is that if we Raise the pitch anymore, right? That stall horn is going to kick in, right? So let's experiment. Raise the nose a little bit more, and then you're going to hear the stall horn kick in. All right, thanks,
Yep, a little Cherokee bit more right rudder. Victor, contact yep. approach, one, two, five, point nine, seven. Yep, keep bringing it back. One, two, five, nine, nine, ah, you hear that? Right, uh, drop the nose, and just keep it at 50. That's it. Nice, good. Excellent, good handling, good handling. Thank you. Yep, and apply that right rudder. Apply that right rudder. Good job, good job. Apply this for like a minute or so. Just to, you know, get yourself situated. Now, if you want it, you can use that trim, okay? You can use that trim on the other one, yep. Just roll it down, roll it down, downwards. Yep, bring that nose up, roll that trim downward, and hands-free flying. Look at that, wow, nice. All right, if you need to climb an extra 20 feet, give it a little bit more juice. That's it, that's it. Very nice. Nice. Now, give me a right turn heading of north. Right, you glance at it. North is that way. Oh, remember, you pick up the wing, make sure there's nobody, and you give me a nice shallow bank towards the right, towards the north. We picked out a point we're going to turn to, and we turn north. Shows in one golf team departure radar contact. Turn right hitting 360 vectors for Hartford. Ah, now we see a little bit of weather down there, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty far. And now we're golf, you can uh, so you keep a roll. Uh, have some traffic east of Ice Lipa, keep you advised. Yes, if you need to adjust the uh, altitude, give it more juice. That's it, good. Nice shallow banks. Nice. Good, good. Good, roll out. Nice and slow. Beautiful. Good. And give it more juice. Adjust the altitude. Oh, you got that airspeed nailed. Very nice. And give it more. Give it more juice to get back to 3,000. Yep. Even if you have to bring it all the way up. Pull forward. On the power. Nice. Now give me a turn to the left. Pick up your wing. A little bit. Yep. And then shallow bank to the left. That's it. Good. Good. I feel the rudders moving. Nice. Nice. That's it. Look outside. If you need to look inside, just glance. Then look out. All right. Glance, look out. Glance looks, looks out. Right? It's like driving. Who, who the heck stares inside driving, right? It's all outside. Outside tells you everything you need to know. The nose climbs up a little bit. Good. That's it. Drop it a little bit. There you go. Excellent. 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 Now, I'm going to have you descent to 2,000, 800. Later, guys. Keeping 50. Keeping 50, yes. Let's take that power. Bring it down to... 1500. So this is how the airplane is going to feel, right, as it gets close to the ground, close to landing. It's on final, close to the ground. Notice how mushy the controls feel. Yeah. Be my guest. Yeah, you can. Yes, that's right. So even without looking at anything, right, you've got to be able to sense the speed, right? Bring the nose up a little bit. Let the stall horn come on. Bring it up. Bring it up. Yeah. Bring it up. Notice how, if we descent, right, we can still get into that stall condition, right? Yes. And then come into the target airspeed. Right? Edge yeah. it all? No, oh, no, just... oh yeah, now you're coming on, right? Add the power. Okay. Bring it back to where you were before to maintain 2,000. Oh, 2,800. 800, yes. But, oh, bring it back. Yeah, kick it in, kick it in, kick it in, yep. Sometimes it, it requires a more instantaneous response, right? That's all right. Are you doing great? Doing great. Looks good. Looks good. Don't stare inside. Don't stare inside. Look outside. Look outside. These are habits that you're forming, right? If your habit is staring inside for two seconds, three seconds, it's just going to deteriorate. And you're going to start relying more on the inside. Good. Now, give me a turn. To the left, to a southerly heading, pick up the wing a little bit. Yes, good. Now see that bright patch over there? Turn towards that bright patch. 
shallow banks. Yep. And even though we're turning left, we may have to apply the right rudder. Yes, sir. That's right. Just give it a little bit more right rudder. Opposite rudder, right? Even though we're going left. Right? Because why the P factor, right? That bright patch over there. Like yeah, the yeah, exactly. Yep, yep. Yeah, suddenly. That's it. Good. And then roll out. Oh, yeah, Lake Juan Kakuma, actually. Yeah, just keep okay. going. Yeah, good. Very good. How's your ears? Are they stuffed or everything's okay? Yeah, everything's good. Very good. All right. Very good. Nice. Good job. Now I'm going to have you advance the throttle, right, to try to climb back up to 3,000 feet. As we're looking around, that's it. I'm glad I am not seeing you jerking the wheel. It's been steady. And that's a good thing, okay? So that's what you want to do. Keep that yoke as steady as possible. The airplane may be bouncing around from whatever turbulence or whatnot. I mean, it's not turbulent today. But what you want to do is just keep a steady hand most of the time, right? Like this. Not like this, not like this, but just, just like that, okay? Good job. Once we get up to 3,000 feet, you're going to give me a left turn heading to the east. Sounds good. All right. While maintaining that airspeed. Stay inside. Look outside. Yep. Oh, we got traffic at a 12. Okay, oh, yes, we do. Yes, good. Let's start our turn left. Yes, I see them. Yep. Yeah, let's roll left. Yep, that's it. Yep. Ah, I like that. I saw that nose come up a bit. Good, good. You're maintaining altitude. You see what's outside, right? That is key. Yes. Yes. Whatever you want to... Yes, that's right, yeah. Very good, yeah. 1,600 above us. Good, good. Spotted them. Nice. Now let's adjust that airspeed. There you go. Good. Pitch for airspeed. Power for altitude. Good job, Andrew. Good job, man. Good job, good job. But once again, right, this is how the airplane feels as it's landing, right? Yep, yep. Now, be yeah, my guest, good. right? Be my guest. Let's say we're getting close to the ground, and I'm telling you, go to the right a little bit more. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be like this. I got the airplane. You got the airplane. Okay. So, when we're getting close to the ground as we're landing, right, it's going to be like this. It may, be, it may feel like that, right? It's going to require a lot of control inputs, right? to get back on the center line for fine adjustments, okay? And don't be afraid to move it, move it, move it. You see how I'm kicking? And I'm kicking the rudder, right, to maintain on the center line, right? I want to maintain this on the center line because I want that wheel nice and straight on the center line. It's hard to tell right now. It's hard to tell because we don't have the ground reference because everything is so far from us, right? Alright, let me get back up to 3,000. Okay, and you got the point. I got the point. You got the point. Okay. Very nice. Good. Now, give me a descent to 2,700. Power down, 1,500. Yep, nice and easy. There is no rush. Yep. And be careful with the pitch. You're going to increase airspeed. That's it. There you go. Good. Very nice. Very nice. You want 2,800? Uh, 2,700. 2,700. Okay, you got traffic above us. 1,400. No factor. Ice to ball, altimeter 3007. Left down, 124, altimeter 3007, six circle. That's it, that's it, look outside, yep, that's it, look outside. Yep, you turning ahead. 94, climb, maintain uh, 900,000. 
That's it, advance that, pro advance that power, yep. 3720 Golf, uh, contact, good. Next thing we're going to do, right, we're going to recover. And recovery is very simple. Make sure that the mixture is full forward and give it full throttle. And then maintain 2700, maintaining a heading. Right, look outside. Right, you know that the power is forward. Pitch it forward. Right, to gain airspeed, bring out a notch of flaps. Good. Let the airspeed stabilize. Heading and airspeed is good. Take out another notch of flaps. Uh, with the tap. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine, yep. Yeah. Airspeed and heading is stabilized. Bring out the last notch of flaps. As you pitch the nose down, and we're gonna maintain 2,700. There you go. Yep, and pitch down to get back down to 2,700. And then bring the power back to 2,200. Back to cruise flight. So that's what the examiner tells you. Okay, you can recover, right? Bobby, make sure to make sure it's forward. You give it full power. And as everything stabilizes, you take out notches of flaps one by one. And then once you come back to a target airspeed, a cruise flight, uh, 2200 on the RPM, and you say, okay, we're, we're back to 2700. Very good. All right. So, on the examination day, before you get into any maneuver, one of the two things we try to uh, be cognizant of is? Bearing turns. Yes. And uh, altitude. Altitude. That's it. For a slow flight, what's the minimum altitude? 1,500. Okay, who's last call? Excellent. Good. Max, 3,000. Excellent. Good. Give me a, uh, well, there's no max. Uh, you know, yeah. Uh, I thought yeah. I saw it. Yeah, that was something else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Let's give me a give me a turn to the east. Give me a slow flight. Okay, we did our climbing turns, right? Pretend we did that. Let's head to the right. The examiner says, "Okay, yes, and just uh, show me a slow flight." Right, and we go to the east. Right, enter slow flight first, and then turn. Oh no, we're gonna uh, go into the east, right, and then we're gonna enter the slow flight. Okay. Okay. Keep it at 22. Uh, Terminator 818, Krisha 2818 Delta, contact the tower, 119.3, have a good day. Uh, looking around, no other aircraft. Yeah, and we're going to stay at 2,700. Now we're always staying close to shore, right? Just in case the engine dies, we're going to be able to fly back. Fly back, yes sir, right? The winds are approximately from the southwest. So we know that the winds are blowing uh, behind us, and we will have to make a turn, land into the wind. Okay, good. We did our climbing turns. Our altitude is good. You can bring the power down to 1,500 RPM. And raise the nose, right? Because as everything decelerates, the, the altitude, excuse me, the altitude will want to drop. Right? So the airspeed is decreasing. Raise that nose. So we don't drop too much. Good. Good. Five pop and range. Give it one potato. Good. Make sure you're heading out to the stabilize, right? Give it two potato. All right. Oh, now we're a little bit too low on the power, right? Just advance the power. Let's get it back up to two, uh, 2,700, right? Good. And you can give it three potatoes. As you advance the power, as you try to climb right back up to 2,700, right? Because you're trying to play a catch-up game now, right? Because you lost altitude inadvertently. That's okay. Airspeed is good. Full, full power, full power. That's it. Yep. Maintain the heading of approximately east. Maintain the airspeed of approximately 50. And make sure that the ball's in the middle. Right? Don't stare inside. Glance at it. Look outside. And then once you are at that target altitude, you can pull that power out slightly. There you go. Look outside. Turn it out if you need to for hands-free flying. But then the examiner says, good job, Andrew. Give me a turn to the right, to the southerly direction. Good. Pick up your right wing. There's nobody. Storm scope is clear. Right. And, oh, not too, not too steep. Yes, sir. Yep, a little bit of right rudder. And another thing, right? When do we know which, which rudder to step on, right? Is, is uh, if we feel on our body 
Heavy on the right, we step on the right. We if you're heavy on the left, we step on the left. Okay. That's how we know. Another way, if you don't have the ball to feel, you know. But you have to be very, very sensitive for that, so, uh, you know, it's, it's not easy. Excellent. Good. Good job, man. Good job. I like that. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Good roll out, right? Now, making another 90 degree turn to the right. Now, without looking at the compass, right, we're going to go west. You pick out a point you're going to turn to, right? Can you see it? Yep. Mentally visualize it and roll. All the while maintaining the airspeed and the altitude. If you need to, jack it up. Jack up the power. Oh, too steep. Oh, too, too steep. Too steep. Yeah, too steep. Yep. Don't want to, you know, overwork, right? Because if you do too much of one thing, you have to over overcompensate on the other. That's it. Northport stacks. Yes. Good. Yep. A little bit more power if you need to, just to get back on 2,700. Good job, good job. Nice. And then the examiner tells you, all right, all right, Andrew, give me back to cruise flight. So what are we going to do? We're going to give the full power. Yep. The airspeed increases. We're going to maintain that altitude. Pitch that nose down slightly as we gain speed. Bring up a notch of flaps, right? We've got three stages on the flaps. What? Right? The potato is gone. Good. Heading and altitude stabilize. Go to the second potato. Altitude. Heading. Stabilize, right? Oh, altitude is climbing. Let's pitch it down. And let's take out that last notch of potato. Right? And bring that power back. There you go. 2200 RPM. Yeah, bring it back some more. Bring it back some more. That's it. And trim it out if you need to. Now, if you got to need to get back down to 2700, pitch that nose down. Eventually, you're going to get um, qualified to solo, take the plane up yourself. So these are, this is one of the things that you're going to practice, right? Maintaining altitude, transitioning from cruise flight to slow flight, slow flight to cruise flight, while maintaining the altitude. So far, I can tell you right now, right, after the first lesson, you have been holding all the, all the thresholds, all the, all the parameters required for a private pilot license. All right, so you did well. Plus or minus 100 feet on the on the altitude. Plus or minus 10 degrees on the heading, and plus 10 knots, zero knots on the airspeed. Good job, my man. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the ATIS, call up approach, and get back for landing at Iceland. All right. Yep. So let's go to 12072 while maintaining 2,700, looking outside. Good. And bring it over. Yep. Get my pencil so I can okay. write it down. Sure. Yeah, pen or pencil, whatever you like. Alright. Good. Okay. Yeah, hit it. Nice. Oh, we gotta go back to comp two. Oh, that's right, yep. Small transmission Oscar 2256, Zulu, wind 220, Avis, Zulu, 0, few clouds, 6,500, few clouds, 1, 1,000, scattered 2,000, 72, 4, 2.16, clouds, 23, 0, 0, 7. Visual approaches in near landing, and departing runway 2, 4. It's crossing back. Oh, this is the same guy that, that spoke to us before. That spoke okay. so damn fast, right? <laughs> 4, 0, okay, 7, right. Zulu, 1, 0, sky condition, okay, 2, clouds, 6,500, 2, 5,000, temperature 2, oh, 7, 2.12. Oh, similar 3007, visual approach and use, landing and departing runway 24. Question birds in the Sydney airport, old departure, sub close traffic, contact clearance 121.85, visual contact, U of ATIS information, November. November. Well known, tower information, November 2156, Zulu. Wind is. Well known, tower information, Papa 2356, Zulu. Wind 2406. Visibility one zero, sky condition few clouds six thousand five hundred, few clouds one one thousand, few clouds two five thousand, temperature two three, two point one seven, altimeters three zero zero eight, visual approach and use landing departing one way two four.
Caution, birds in the city, airport, old departure, except close traffic, contact clearance, 121.85. Those are contacts, you have this information, Papa. Okay, now, did you get everything? I gotta hear the, uh, okay, the altimeter. Uh, gotcha. 2406, visibility 10, sky condition, few clouds, 6,500. Few clouds, 1, 1,000. Few clouds, 2, 5,000. Temperature, 2, 3. 2.17, altimeters 3008, visual approach and use landing and departing runway 24. Caution birds in the city, airport old departure, except close traffic, contact clearance 121.85. Those contacts, you have this information, Papa. Okay, so let's go to uh, COM 1. Okay. So we have information, Papa. They're landing on runway 24. Right? Yep. Okay, you got the altimeter set. And next thing you're going to do, what, 3006? Yeah, uh, she like said that. three. Th uh, zero, eight. Oh, zero eight. Okay, I'm sorry. Yep. Zero eight. Okay. Oh, uh, the people we're gonna talk to is uh, New York Approach, right? So you gotta say New York Approach. That's the five three one two Sierra. North of the field, uh, north of Islip on the shoreline. Have information, Papa. Full stop landing. Right. We'll come in for a landing. Or you know all that all that stuff. Right. It's all like one uh, one thing. So we just practice with me. Right. So you're gonna say. New York, New York Approach. New York Approach, Cessna 5312 Sierra yep. is northbound of Islip along the coast. Yep. Um, and landing? Landing with? Landing with Papa. That's it. And give it to me one more time. Yep. New York Approach, Cessna 5312 Sierra is northbound of Islip along the coast yep. with Papa inbound to land. Yes, good, good, good. He's going to give you a squat code, right? And then we just write it down, memorize it, whatever. Um, and then, you know, we'll, we'll just repeat the squat back to him. And, uh, and from there, he's going to either tell us to, like, uh, proceed inbound or give us an out still heading to flight. Okay? Uh, All right. So, when the guy's not busy. Oh! Nice. Count, like, one, two, three. And yeah, give him a shout. <coughs> uh, can I practice it? Sure, sure, sure. Absolutely, absolutely. Yep. New, York, New York approach test to 5312 Sierra's north of Ice Slip along the coast. Uh, inbound to land with Papa. New York approach Cessna 5312 Sierra is north of Ice Slip with Papa along the coast, inbound to land. With Papa. So 5312 Sierra, New York approach, squawk 4350 and ident. 4350-12 uh, Sierra. And also ident, yep. That's right. Okay, so he's going to say uh, he's got us, and then he'll tell us to proceed inbound. All right? So the squawk. Caution, one, one, five, Lima Romeo, New York departure, call maintain 3000, I did. So that's our squawk, right? Okay. Caution, five, Lima Romeo, red eye contact, three southeast of Gabreski, turn right direct to your park. So we maintain radio communication, let's start turning in. I'll pick up your left wing. 5312 Sierra, red eye contact, proceed for the right down one, runway three. Christian, proceed for the right down one, runway two, four at ISO. ISO about the minutes, three, zero, zero, seven. Proceed right down one, two, four. Proceed right down one, two, four at one, two, Sierra. Oh, oh, bro, oh, perfect, perfect. Not a, listen, not a single mistake. That's good, good job, man, good job, good job. Motion 5, Lima Romeo, change my frequency, 1, 2, so 0, it's Lake Kong, 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 And beyond that, that's the airport, right? That's it. So, it's going to be a right downwind for 2, 4. And Lima Romeo, we're going to be flying zero, towards zero, the field. Motion 5, Lima Romeo, we're going to enter what's called a 45 degree to intercept the downwind for runway 2, 4. And we'll show you. Now, Sign 85, 8, Tango, change my frequency, 1, Now, the altitude, right? Sometimes he'll give you an altitude. But most of the time, once he tells you to or a general direction, right? The heading is at your discretion. Okay? 5312 okay. Sierra, contact tower, 119.3, have a good day. 119.3. 119.3, 12 Sierra. Good, let's go to the tower. And then you're gonna say, Oh, I'm on tower! That's the 5312 Sierra is with you. Right down in 24. Long Island Tower. 5312 Sierra is with you, right down one two four. 5312 Sierra, wind uh, 25, you're at 6, runway 24, you're clear to land. Clear to land, one, clear to land, one two Sierra. Runway 24. Runway 24, you're at the departure, after you're touching the left. Okay, so basically, you know, we have to tell them the runway, but that's okay. Yeah. 
But you get the idea. Okay. All right, this is exciting now. All right. The guaranteed part of flying. Guaranteed, guaranteed. You got to land, right? Excellent. Okay, my man. We got the field in sight. Okay. Right? Traffic is... Oh, wow, there's nothing. We're looking around, looking at the storm scope. Yep. Before landing check, here we're going to go. And make sure this is on both. Seat seat belts are good. Doors are good. This is forward. Right? And you can see, pre-landing check. Yeah, check it, yep. Mixture, bridge. Yep. Oh, you can, flip, yeah, you can flip this over like that, yep. Anyway, yeah. like taxi lights on, yep. auto pilot off, flaps yep. as desired. Yep. Uh, 0 to 10 below, yep. 110, full, 0 to full. Uh, yeah, exactly, the flaps, yep, yep. Um, UF flaps up, 65 to 75. Yep, yep. This is a go around. No, no, that, that's, um, yeah, yeah. But anyway, this is pretty much, it's complete. Okay. Okay, pre landing checklist is complete. So let's start descending to the traffic pattern altitude. Oh, pull that power out to, what do you think? 15. Yeah, there you go, 15, right? So all these numbers are going to stay with us. They're not arbitrary. We're going we're gonna to try to fly by the numbers as much as possible. Oh, you see the big airliner landing on runway 2 Let's see, where is it? Yeah, you see this airplane landing? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. That's what we're going to be landing on. Climbing through 700 for... So we're going to join the right downwind for runway 2 right? So we got a nice gradual... T1, Roger, radar contact. Got a nice gradual descent going. Okay? On course, T1, thank you. Frontier 2970, Whiskey... So right now, let's feel the controls. Just joking around, yeah? See, they're more responsive, right? Yep. As we get slower, it's going to require a lot of control authority. All right? Good. All right. What altitude we're on? We're at uh, 1,700. Excellent. Good. We're going for... 1,100. 1,100? Yes. Good job. Good job. So we're going to fly out, like, a little bit. And this way? Well, no, no. We can go yeah. keep going straight. And then we're going to bank it to the left. Of course, pick up our left wing. And we're going to go into a 45 degrees in relationship to runway 24, right? There you go. Yeah, keep, keep it a, keep going out a little bit more. That's all it is. All See right. these power lines? Yep. That's past the power lines, right? right? And then once we're at at 1,100 feet, we're going to bring the power. I'm going to tell you we're going to bring the power up to. We're going to bring the power up to 1,700 RPM. Alright. There you go. Advance the power now, right? So we don't sink below 1,100, right? No staring at the inside. Once you've got the power set, bring it up a little bit more, 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 more. Uh, bring it back, 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 back. Take it out a little bit more. Yep, raise the nose, raise the nose, right? Yep, trim it out if you need to, to maintain this altitude. Yep. Now look at the outside. See, this is how a thousand feet above the ground looks, right? Get a feel for that, okay? Just by looking at the outside. That way you're not, you notice that the instruments are not lying to you. Good. Pick up your left wing, and let's start a gentle bank to the left to join the right downwind. There you go. Oh, more juice. Just a little tad more. Yep, just a tad. Yep. That's it. Raise the nose. Raise the nose, right? Too much ground. That means we're diving. So we lost about 100 feet, right? Good. Raise the nose a bit. Yep. There you go. Good. Now, you see runway 24? Yep. Yep, it's the long runway where that, where that airliner just landed. There you go. Good, 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 good. Now, we are already clear to land. Yes, sir. So we're going to get ourselves parallel with the runway in the opposite direction. Yep, let's raise that nose. Yep. That's it. Good, good, good. That's it. We slowed it down. Okay. Very nice. He's at 400 feet right now climbing. Uh, P1, Roger, sir. Ah, now you know we're parallel with the runway, right? Yeah, let's get ourselves nice and parallel. Right, because the winds are pretty much, like, behind us. Not much crapping is required. 127 Hotel Foxtrot. Roger, I have your request. Nice. Now, we're a little bit below the TPA, okay? Uh, on the base turn, do not be below 800 feet. Uh, okay. 531 uh, Sierra, can you make sure to approach? Yes. Yes, 12 Sierra. Okay. Sierra, Roger. Make sure to approach 24 Clitoland, you're number one. Okay, making a short approach, Clitoland, 2412 one, Sierra. Short approach, Clitoland, 2412 Sierra. Oh, nice, nice. Beautiful. Good job, man. Okay, power 15. Good. 
Pick up our right wing, make sure there's nobody, and let's just roll right. Yep. Give it one potato. Now, generally speaking, we don't roll. And now, ah, see, watch the nose come up, right? Yeah. yeah, good. Just push that down. Generally speaking, we don't like to deploy the flaps on the turn just in case we um, run into asymmetrical deployment of the flaps, right? So let's pitch that nose down, trim it out if you need to. There you go. Good. That's it. Good, good. I was trying to hold it uh, That's above okay. 800. That's okay. But yep. we're on short, I guess. No, no, we're on short. Yep, yep. Good, let's give it a second potato. And push that nose down because that nose wants to go. Yep. Look into the left, make sure there's no matter of fire. Let's turn left. I mean, right. There you go. Good. Now, power 15, right? Good. Now, line it up with the runway as, as best as you can. We're a little bit high, but that's okay. All right? Good. Now, I'm going to have power out all the way out. Idle. Right. Now, this is not a textbook landing by any means, okay? Yeah, right. yeah, full flaps, yep. This is not a textbook landing by any means, right? We're yeah. too high, but we pulled the power. And right now, our airspeed is what? Just call it out. 80, 80. right? We're burning in. We're, we're we flying so high. much, so much, right? Yep, so now you're gonna, you're gonna follow with me, okay? You feel yeah. that rudder? Yep. Yep. Now we're gonna start flaring one wing length above the runway, and then you're gonna pull back. Right. And you're gonna hold it back, right? Keep it that airplane off the ground as long as you can. I wanna feel you. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Back, back the ground, back the ground. You see that? Yep. You did the landing. You, my man, did the landing. And that was beautiful. I liked Thank it. You. Pick up the flap. That was nice. That was really nice. Thank you. I think you had practice. <laughs> All right, good. Only video game. One, two, Sierra. You go to west side or mid-island? West side. West side, one, two, Sierra. Ah, right right turn whiskey, deposit me. Right on whiskey, with you. Right on whiskey, with you, one, two, Sierra. That's it. So she kind of knew that, you know, are we on the west side or mid-island, right? We're on the west side. Good. And that's whiskey up ahead. Right? All right. Good. All right, no brakes. And just let it roll. And we can start offsetting to the right. Because okay. we're not going to be taking off. Oh, red sky at night, sailor's delight. That means tomorrow's weather is going to be beautiful. And what does the two in the black mean? 2,000 feet of runway remain. So the north of traffic, more than 3,000 What is the blue light for? Taxiways, right? The blue lights. Yep. Good. Let's go to the right. Now, remember where the uh, the winds are coming from, right? Two, five. Yeah, that's it. Yep, you see the wind sock, right? Good. Yep. Now, we don't need to switch over to the ground because she told you us what? Stay with her, right? Stay with her. Yeah. Once we pass the whole shore line, we're going to do our after landing check. Good. Let's kill the strobes. One on air echo, one right, two on echo, one 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 on this way, you see the wind sock, right? Yep. yep. Bravo, we Good. Put around and stay on the yellow. Good. So as we're coming for a landing, she asks us, can we do a short approach, right? That means all we did was we just like cut it and boom, touch down as soon as we can. It wasn't like a nice squared out rectangle. Like, yeah. <laughs>